Hey everybody and welcome back to the Pike Homestead. If you're new here, we're sharing our journey to finding our homestead as well as building it as we go. So we are new to homesteading and we just moved here from BC to Alberta. So this is our story and this is how we're going along and we hope you come along with the ride and learn with us and hopefully it will spark some ideas for your own homestead. So if you think this might be something you'll enjoy then please do like and subscribe and we'll see you in our next videos as well so anyway we were thinking about it and you know looking at uh, uh what people have watched on our channel so far the most and and some of it was you know the most popular has been our first couple of videos which is how we got here what what our decision making process was and everything like that so we thought we'd uh dive a little bit more into that for you um and so we're trying to break it down into certain questions um all leading to the question of why we decided to leave the city and move into a small town. So the first part of that would be you need to look at what you like about your lifestyle. What is it that you, you know, that you want? And for us, you know, it was being close to nature, you know, having wild animals and everything in and around the property, uh, a bunch of, you know, trees and stuff all around the place. Um, which we had in, in Port Moody, uh, even as we were right in the middle of the city and all its conveniences. Um, you know, we wanted to be more sustainable and, you know, more self-sufficient, um, where, you know, we're able to feed ourselves off our own, you know, growing and yard, um, which is something that we really couldn't do in the city. Mm -hmm. So we started to kind of look at what we wanted and me being me, I dug into airships and tiny houses and all those kind of fun things that come along with that. And you know what? It opened up a lot of doors to looking at things that are more sustainable and living more within your means and downsizing to more minimalism and related type of topics. So, you know, it's... It was a journey and it came to the point where we both went, you know what, this is what we really want to do. And also, you know, what do you want from the community around you, right? Um, do you want, you know, like, I don't know, one of the biggest differences, you know, living in, uh, you know, I've lived all my life in the Vancouver area. Um, you know, up until we moved here, I was within a half hour drive of downtown Vancouver for my entire life. Um, and while, you know, there are times where you're proud to be a Vancouverite, you know, 2010 Olympics and, and when the Canucks are doing well and or when, you know, the Whitecaps are doing well, you know, like all these team and, you know, um, community sorts of things that you can be proud of about your city. There's also a lot of stuff there that, you know what, it's the, the community doesn't feel the same, right? Because there is far more people around you is very isolating um, and you don't feel that community. I guess it would be the word. Um, and so, you know, that's one of the things we were looking at when we were choosing our space was, you know, like, well, what's the community like there? And, and our research led us to where we're at um, as being a good place to be. Um, you know, so those are the things we liked and wanted. Uh, and that was kind of our, our short lifts for our, our lifestyle. Now that we kind of had an idea of what we wanted from our new lifestyle, <laughs> We kind of needed to know how to get there and where that was going to take money was just pouring into things and paying for our rent and paying off debts and bills. Um, we needed to start saving and we needed to start a budget and we needed to be better aware of our finances. And for us, it was, you know, where can we find a place where, you know, if, if I need to give up my job, which was not mobile and Caroline's. Caroline's is she's still working like she she has an internet connection she can do her job um so you know like if we have to make it on one income for a while where can we go that we can do that um you know so those are those are challenges like and if we are short money how what are the job prospects to you know help you get over that hump while you take that first step what kind of sacrifices we might want to make to be able to start towards our goals. And one of those things was how would we work? 
what jobs would we do? My job, luckily, <laughs> I can take anywhere in Canada and it's no problem. I work from home. It's awesome. But my husband, he worked at an actual location. And unfortunately, we can't bring that location with us. So we had to leave that behind if we were going to move. So we kind of played, okay, well, how much money do we need? And what do we need to do? And how are we going to do that? These are the challenges you want to look at as, as far as, you know, selecting where you're going to head to to, to go after your, your lifestyle that you want. Um, you know, it's like what you have the funding you have, how long is it going to last? What do you need to do to make it? If you get, you know, you take that step and have to stay there a little bit longer than your plan. Like, how do you make ends meet? So, you, you know, like these are the challenges that you have to look at, right? Like as I had to, I left my job to do this. Um, and yeah, so we had to make sure we knew, you know, what the challenges were, what the cost of living was going to be. Um, could we afford to live on one income while we were here? And how else are we going to afford it? And, you know, those are things that we answered. Because um, once you have those answers, it's a lot easier to take that first step. Now, for us, coming from BC, the uh, the first step towards, you know, our homesteading goals was to, you know, come to Alberta. Because we had our list of what we wanted and how we wanted to be living. Um, we knew what we had and what we needed to be able to buy a place. Um, and even, you know, kind of a ballpark on time it was going to take to get there. Uh, and you're looking at BC and it's going to be a lot longer than it is in Alberta. Um, and so, you know, like we we decided, you know, before COVID that Alberta was probably where we were going to end up. Um, just because property prices are a lot lower. And Caroline has family, um, which kind of led us to where we ended up. Well, to make that a reality, we really just had to focus that and know that that would be the first step so how would we get there how do we make that leap we don't have the perfect amount of money we don't have the perfect location to go to and where were we going to go to and what were we going to do when we got there and how was we going to have work and would one income be enough and there's so many questions that come out from this and we just went you know what with 2020 and everything that's going on, if we don't make the change now, we're not going to. First step, it wasn't to look for a property to buy or anything like that. It was just to find some place to live and make that jump, right? So that's, that's the next thing you got to do. Like once you know what the challenges are, like once you've got an idea on what the challenges are and once you're you know, realistic about them, um, it's taking that first step. And for us, the right step was moving to where we're at in, in you know, northern Alberta. To be honest, I was really excited and it was scary and it was new and you know what? It was the best decision we made to just say, okay, to reach our homestead goals, we need to go to Alberta. So let's just go. Let's just pack up everything and go. And within two months of making that decision, we went. That was it. We packed it up, sold stuff and left. And honestly that's really cool <laughs> and finally you know we, we wanted to give some advice to people who might want to be looking for that change of lifestyle i mean i know there's a lot of people especially once the pandemic hit who suddenly weren't chained to their office anymore um the workplace and everything has changed and that's led to you know kind of an and bit of an exodus from the cities and higher rents and higher properties and everything like that uh so anybody who's doing this sort of thing and looking for this kind of life change um, is first of all, you've, I'd say, you know, like you need to have the courage to do it, which is all well and good, but you also have to have the brains. You also have to, you know, you have to go in with your eyes wide open. You've got to know what you want. You've got to have a good idea on where you want it and whether or not you can make that work because it's not going to happen right away. Right. Um, <clears throat> I, I want to, you know, say the biggest inhibitor to your success will be yourself. Yeah, it'll be your mental state. Um, you know, like mine has definitely been rough, um, you know, which is part of the reason why, why we decided to make the change. Um, it's been a real um, I guess emotional journey because it wasn't just, it wasn't just the pandemic that, that led me to, you know, coming to this point of doing this now. Um, 
you know, there are certain things in other parts of my life that kind of all came to a head um, with the pandemic, I guess, kind of being the additional fuel to the fire that uh, kind of sped up the burn, I guess. Um, but it was a decision, you know, like it was still the path that we had decided we were going to be going on just, you know, a year or two or three sooner. Uh, don't just, you know, buy a plot of, you know, bare land and go and start trying to turn it into a garden and build yourself a mud hut if you don't know if that's what you want to do. Um, you know, like if you want to be living sustainably and are looking at earth ships, go and visit one um, like we did. Um, and it was enough to have me going, well, you know what? It's a great idea. I don't know if I'm comfortable doing that. Um, and it's not something that we can afford to do because we need a place to live while we do it. Um, so is that going to be something that we do? Or are we going to look at, you know, property with a house on it and the cost, you know, of, of, cause if you're going to buy raw land, sure it's cheap, but you're going to spend just as much getting a yurt put on it or getting, building your earth ship or, you know, clearing it to set up your garden. Um, you know, so if that's something you really want to do, then go into it with your eyes wide open. Um, and go into it not expecting it to happen right away, right? Um, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of stress. It's a lot of, um, it's a lot of, you know, unsurety. And if you're, you know, if you're not ready for that, then, you know, maybe that's not exactly what you want to be doing. Or is there something you could buy that's already set up, maybe not necessarily sustainably or homesteady, but something that gives you a framework with which to work with and set it up a little bit easier, a little bit quicker and get, you know, give you a place to set up your garden and have you growing your own food for next year, you know? Um, <clears throat> so make sure you go in with, you know, knowing what you're looking for, knowing what you're wanting to do with it and how much you're willing to put in and how much time you're willing to put in. Um, having the right mindset for it is very important. Um, if it's what you want to do, absolutely have the courage to make the steps to do it. Um, just make sure you're not fooling yourself that it's going to be set up and running next year unless you happen to stumble across people selling their permaculture farm that's already set up and running. Yeah, you've got, you've got to set yourself up for success by having realistic, realistic expectations of what it's going to take to get there. And if you're not sure, well, this, that's what things like this blog are for, right? Like we're, we're here to um, show up, you know, our process and our steps and how we're getting there and the work we're doing. Um, and let you have this window into our lives to see if it's something that you want to be doing. Um, so utilize it. There's tons of, you know, homesteaders and stuff with YouTube channels, so many different farms and everything that are set up, whether, you know, whether it's the Hollers or Goldshaw farm or something like that, who are doing similar things as this and making these changes, um, and see how they did it and whether or not that's something you're, you know, and you're just getting a small window into what they're doing, but you're getting a window. And if that's something you like, you've got to have that expectation. Um, and that will set you up for far more success and, and everything than just expecting it to happen. For anybody else out there trying to look at making the change and working towards your goals, my kind of advice for you is to really know in your heart what it is that you want. And when you do know that, then write it down. Write your pros, write your cons. Why do you love where you are? And what will make you happy moving to an acreage or just a place with a larger yard? Do you need that? Is that what you want in your life? And is that what you need? And once you kind of have that fine-tuned and you know what it is that you want, You'll be able to really see the end result and know what you need to get there. Because when you have the budget and you have your wish list, you know what you're looking for. You know what you want for land. You know where you want to be. You know what the best place to kind of do that will be for you. And it will really just help you get started. And then once you know that, look at your list, look at your wants, and figure out what your first step is. Is it that you need to save a little bit of money? Is it that you need to quit your job? Is it that you need to move? You have to leave the lifestyle you have. Is it that you really need to 
buy that Starbucks coffee every day? Do you need to have that YouTube subscription or that Netflix subscription or that Spotify subscription? Do you need those things? What would make you happy and what would help you get to those goals? Because taking those little steps is the first step and knowing that you're doing it to reach your long-term goal just makes it so much easier to do. So write down what you want to do, write down where you want to be, write down what's stopping you and make that first step. And let me know in the comments what your goals are and where you want to be and what you're struggling with. Because if I can give any advice on that, I would love to help. And I want to see all of you reach your homesteading goals. Thank you.